So our next lesson it will be the maximum likelihood analysis using Oxmail and it's going to be a little longer. So I divided this into three parts. So let's start with our first one. After we're done with the general test, so the next thing we're going to do is maximum likelihood analysis using ROXML. So for that you have to also download another file that is R A X M L Roxman. You can download this from this GIT hub. Tap this code and download zip. So I have already downloaded it. So this is the file that after downloading we'll get. Where is it? This is the file. So we have to uncompress it and after uncompressing you will find these files here. So we are only concerned with this. So we'll take this. And under this we have this Rauxmail HPC and Ptrace. Just take this Ptrace and HPC, copy it and we're going to make another folder that is R A X. So in here we're going to paste it paste the two copy the files that we have copied from Rocksmith and then after this we're going to use our align file here copy it and just keep it for keep it here for now and now that we have this file uh, we cannot run this file in because this file is in FASTA format we have to change this FASTA format to file format in order to change this FASTA file format we have to download another uh, software which is called let me add, which is called MASQID MASQID soft so MASQID software you have to download this MASQID software you can download it from this website MASQIDproject.org go here Windows download the latest version of MASQID from GitHub repository repository so you have to download this one windows zip if you're using linux you can also download this or in mac <laughs> these are the versions that mac uses so we will download this so i have already downloaded this so i won't be downloading i'll just show you where i have downloaded so after downloading you will get something like this you have to uncompress it using your decompressor and then you will get something like this so if you have is so if you already have installed Java okay in your previous uh, JMODEL test if you didn't use it also install it now because this MESQUIT will also use MESQUIT will also use the Java so we will click in here you can click also this green one it won't matter just click it and it will open this file this software so now we are going to use this software to change our this FASTA file. So let's go to this FASTA file, open file, desktop, and time will get sequence. And this is the FASTA file that we're going to change. First, you have to open it and select FASTA protein DNA because we are. Please choose an interpreter interpreter for this file. So we're going to interpret as FASTA file. Let's choose it, and now we have to save it. So we'll save it here as FASTA. So it will open our file. <coughs> So now after doing this you can also do many other things like three window at a very different option so this is also a file phylogenetic tool which can be used for various analysis but mostly most people prefer it to export which change the extension from fasta to file and that is our file file here so it seems our file if uh, since our sequence is dna or dna sequence so we will choose this file if dna and rna and now we will press ok and it will ask the length of our taxon name so our taxon name we will we can also check it from here uh, open with bio editor so it must be something like i don't know how long is it Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if 25 here, it must be around 2015. We can say that. <coughs> so our text name length will be 50. So we will choose this and export. So now we have to change this from fs to phy because we are saving it as file file. That's why. And this phy is the file extension. So let's save it. And now we can close this one. Don't save. So now we have here file file. We will use this for our. We'll just copy it. We will use this for our rock smell analysis. So we have. We should paste it here. Okay. We must keep this file here. In the next lesson, we're going to make few files that we'll be using for our rocks ML analysis. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.